So hello everyone. Today we're going to learn how to simulate um, dependent source in LTSpice, and we're going to we're going to do it in a very simple way. So my favorite way in this case. So we're going to start with a voltage source of 10 volts and a resistor of 10 ohms. We're going to start building our circuit. now we're gonna add the dependent source but there are some uh, built-in dependent source sources for this like this for example voltage dependent voltage source so these options are intended for that but I don't like them I like this the arbitrary behavioral current source or voltage source depending on what you need this is very convenient because it gives you the possibility of defining a source based on the on some of the parameters of another element of the circuit so in this case we're going to define its current based on the current of this resistor or resistor R1 so let me show you how it's done it's very simple but it's actually very useful So we finish the circuit, connect these two parts together. This is a very common circuit that you will find in many books of circuits. And then here we're going to define this as the current of resistor one. Another thing you can you you can be wondering is like what is the direction of the current of R1? Unfortunately, this is not very straightforward in LTSPI, so in order to check that out, I will make a transient study just for you to see the direction. In that case, if you run a transient study, you will fit, see the, the directions of the currents in the circuit. So in this case, this current is going down. And of course, this current is supposed to be the same one. So it should be on the same direction and on the same magnitude. So you can see that we just have the same the same uh, tool the same lines one on top of the other <coughs> so this is working as intended of course i can change this and, and assign it two times the current of this one for example let's see if it works and now we have our one current in one ohms here below and and the current of the of the source in two ohms up here so this is perfect and of course if you just want to simulate the operating point and DC you can just do a simple study of operating point and run it and you will get these values and in this case it's showing us that the voltage of the node 0, 0, 1 is 10 and this sometimes is could be confusing so if you want to put a tag on it so it's easier to read you can put tag A and tag B on these two nodes there are the only nodes that are in the circuit the other node is the ground and we know that is zero and so the rest let's check it out so voltage of node A and node B is 10 and minus 20 and that's it so with that, we finish this video and thank you for watching.